right now, followed by John Lewis. Welcome to House Education. Thank you. Good afternoon, Chairman and members of the committee. My name is Lucy Crichton, and I live in Concord, and I'm here really as a grandparent and parent, um, and someone who is a professional chaplain. I'm retired, but I'm, I work primarily with hospice and continuing care retirement community with elders. And one thing that I can say is that the experiences that we have as children stay with us throughout our lives. And we still are working with some of the difficult traumas or experiences that we have in our 80s and 90s. We're um, charged, I think, with protecting our children from tragic and unimaginable experiences. I believe that this bill will help forward that because I think that there are many reasons that have already been stated that I don't want to go over again. But one of the reasons is that I think that accidents happen and accidents with firearms can be deadly. I was recently with my grandson at a basketball game. He was six and he was dribbling with 25 other kids across the gym floor. And I looked around and thought, I wonder how many firearms are here this morning and how much risk there is to these kids that somebody could accidentally drop or somehow release a bullet into this situation. I'm really concerned that we have um, safe schools for our kids, and I think that this bill will foster that. It won't solve it, but it'll certainly foster it. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for uh, being here. Are there any questions that are presented? Thank you very much for being here. I now have uh, John Lewis is next, and followed by Jill Mayo.